restaurants have been closed now for more than a month, and we know that many of you are missing your favorite place to hang out. Yeah, definitely, Amber. She's admitted that, so she decided to show us how to make one of her favorite appetizers, truffle fries. Welcome back to the kitchen! Yay! Different kitchen. <laughs> I'm excited about this recipe because uh, one of the things I miss the most are the truffle fries at our bar. They are oh, so delicious. Good. So I spent a lot of time at home perfecting my own version of them, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do them today. So you're going to start. I bake them too, so they're not fried. They're a lot healthier for you. Oh so, well, let's we'll have them all then. <laughs> I know you hate that, don't you, Bruce? You're like, oh, no, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. <laughs> okay, so I started with just two russet potatoes and I cut them into fries. Now, I learned in doing this over and over that it really helps to soak them in water for 30 or 40 minutes before you go dressing them. Pulls a little bit of the starch out, and you dry them off really well, and it allows them to get really crispy in the oven without- And hydrated. And what hydrated, right? Just yeah, hydrated. Oh, yeah. That's it, stay hydrated. Yeah. So, I've got my cut potatoes here. We're gonna get started. You're gonna take a tablespoon of olive oil and just toss it in there. A couple tablespoons. Um, I went almost a full quarter cup of Parmesan. Toss that in there. Rosemary, which I found a rosemary grinder that I am obsessed with. I use it on everything now. So you're gonna do about a tablespoon of rosemary in here. I'm just gonna keep grinding. Is this what I would do? Oh, uh, this is what you would do. Good job. Yeah. A little bit of salt. Again, I'm all about the grinders. The full recipe will be at newson6.com slash recipes and then cracked pepper. Now, let's see how many fries fly out of here when I go mixing them. Because go. this has been <laughs> where I screw up. Most. I feel like this is something that I would want to do, then you'd be like, no, let me just do that, bro. <laughs> this is the fun part, I gotta say. All right, so they're all coated nicely. Now all I'm gonna do is put them on my pan. All right, you know what I did not do? Oh, look, it's right here. <laughs> Hang out. Oh. That worked out really well. So I'm just gonna- Yeah, I didn't know what you did. I'm just gonna spread them out into an even layer here on my pan. Make sure you get all the goodness in the bottom of the bowl, out on top, that's where all the Parmesan lives. And then literally, I'm just gonna pop these bad boys in the oven. So here's the trick to putting them in the oven. I mean, obviously not to put them in there, but the oven is preheat, uh, preheated to 450 degrees, not you, Brooks, I'm talking to the rest <laughs> of, you know, don't Somebody else yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you're gonna put them in the oven at 450. You're gonna let them bake for about 20 minutes and then flip them. So you're gonna go in with your spatula and just flip it and let them bake another 15 minutes, pull them out, let them sit for five minutes. I promise they'll still be warm enough. Then when you pull them out, you're gonna take your truffle oil, one tablespoon of it, put them back in your bowl, toss it in there, toss the fries around and they are ready to serve. It's delicious. If you wanna do What do they look the like now? Cause we gotta wrap it up here. What do they look like now? Well, on the thing. On the pan. What do you mean what they look like? They look like. Yeah, I know they're not done. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just can't see anything. I just want to know. And I knew we didn't have much time. So I wanted to So see that's that. that. And I actually put my truffle aioli recipe as well with this on our website. So if you want to do the truffle aioli, mm, gosh, it's so delicious. At least I don't have to do dishes after this. That's true, I get to do the dishes, but you don't get to eat the fries either. So I'm That's still- That's true, it's even out, but I literally brought up and do this, again. You know, I wish Amber was my roommate right now during this quarantine. <laughs> right? I know, she, she makes everything look so easy too. No, but truffle oil makes everything better. Yeah.